My name's David Taylor, I'm a retired Baptist minister and I still carry on doing a little bit of that in the sense of I'm involved with the local church here but also involved in Ely, the cathedral where I go and do some chaplaincy work a couple of times a month during the summer and that gives me an opportunity to meet people from all walks of life, all different situations and most weeks to pray with somebody because people come to a place like that with real sense of need as well as coming on pilgrimage. But I also enjoy relaxing and for me relaxing means a nice game of tennis. I'm able to play tennis during the summer as a member of the God Manchester Tennis Club. Winter, along with Nicky and Craig, I play tennis up at the what is called the Bubble, St Peter's area. Where the bit that's the strongest part is my backhand volley, actually, so I'm quite happy with that. But the serve has been a perpetual weakness over the years. The thing you really enjoy is trying to play a good game. And if you do get a good shot in occasionally, then you, you feel it's been well worthwhile. My understanding, actually, if I can just read it, it's 1 Timothy 4, verse 8. And it talks, and this is Paul writing to young Timothy, physical training is of some value, but godliness has value for all things. And certainly there, what Paul's getting across to Timothy is that physical training and the word there for training is the word from which we get our gymnasium so it is very much active training it's something they understood in those days as well as today that to be physically fit is a good thing so however you get fit and I do still try and do a bit of jogging it's now down to a fast walk but that gets me into a reasonable condition to play the tennis so yes it's important but in the way that we're only alive for so long, but when we go into the next existence, then the godliness side, that's the most important. That's the bit that endures. I don't think we need to be particularly physically fit for heaven. I think, I'd like to think, um, it's the way I go around and try and make sure I sort of pick up the balls and always have a ball in my pocket so that when you're playing, <laughs> Uh, you're just thinking of other people that, that, you know, they need to have a ball as well so that you're there too, rather than just, you know, little things like that are ways that you try and make a difference. Or then to be encouraging because sometimes you're with somebody and you know that they're having a bit of a rough time, so you do try and encourage. But having said that, they're very good at encouraging me, so there's a lot of mutuality about it. We all want to win, yes, but there's more to life than actually winning so that keeps your perspective and hopefully makes you aware of other people and their situations. They're a very friendly bunch of people and again it's useful when people start chatting that you can bring a Christian perspective to some of the conversation and um, they'll often if there's a particular issue around they'll look to me a bit and say you know you're a Baptist something or you're a Christian person and you you know what's going on so it's good to be able to just quietly say a, a word about the faith where it's appropriate and then to take a particular interest because pastorally you can speak about people and pass on the good news. Although I had a, a lovely incident of a few weeks ago where I was able to encourage the staff there to give some tennis rackets which um, went out to the Philippines for Catherine to use and they've taken an interest there and it was good for me a few weeks ago here at church to see one of the tennis rackets being used by the youngsters out there and to think that being part of something there that's, that's good. Well, to be able to keep my eye on the ball because um, I find now that the balls sort of seem to go faster past you. So, <laughs> but to keep that sense of enjoyment and the right attitude, as it were, come what may. And then to be able to know when people are asking important questions, how to be able to just say a word for the Lord at the appropriate moment.